Hey everyone, and welcome back to Risk of Rain. Today I want to just play a nice mercenary run. I'm probably going to be doing a lot of plain old runs, normal stuff. Because that's just, you know, none of the challenges are compelling me a ton. And, uh, I still really want to play the game. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play the game. And Mercenary is a very fun character, so I'm going to play the Mercenary. Oh, that sucks. That's not getting killed. Probably. Definitely no chance. Oh well. I do not have enough to buy anything then. Mercenary is a pretty bad character for them. What I could have done is led them all to the corner, but I was uh, I wanted to see basically how well that skill worked for clearing them from the start. Oh, that's a hole I just couldn't tell. Definitely there I buy Jar of Souls. Jar of Souls is like a game winning item practically. So it's a pretty good choice. All right. Teleporter is not in the best location. Good jump. Well done. Okay. I found you, sweet teleporter. And I'm going to activate you. Magmorm. I deal with Magmorms pretty well as this character because of that attack. Simply. Alright, so we're about to have some crowd problems. Alright. Alright, we're having some problems. This is not the smart thing to do, but I got a really good item for it, so I'll let that one slide. Oh. Alright, we need to kill a couple of things. Now. That was beautiful. Alright, so the Jar of Souls summons a ghost for every enemy on screen, like it says. And those ghosts will attack stuff for me. Eh. Now's as good a time as any. Fungus, so good. If I can stand still for two seconds, then I will um, start healing a lot. Right. Ah, you attacked the wrong enemy. You fool. Alright, rusty jetpack. Higher jump and lower gravity so I fall slower. That's good. I messed up a little bit. You couldn't tell. Yeah, okay, now this Good a time as any. Get my activation on again. I'm a little worried about this run continuing. Check out the 50. Good item. Every attack has a chance to launch a missile, which does a pretty fair amount of damage. That spin is a nice second jump, which is. You know, exceedingly useful, perhaps, is a good word. Or descriptor. It's really quite good. Alright, I don't have time to do too much exploring around here. 
I can get the bitter root, which is an 8% health up, and I'm not sure if there's anything else to buy up here. So, you know, hopefully these dudes can do a little more damage. That'd be really nice. I mean, obviously they can't. But it would be really nice if they could. Fortunately, the mercenary is very good at dealing with crowds. Provided you are prepared for what dealing with a crowd entails. Which usually I am at this point. But why is this enemy in such an inconvenient location? Why would you do this to me? How did you get there? Like, why? Why would you do that? Well, since I'm going to be this far behind schedule, I'll buy this random. Barbed wire is really good on a melee character. Makes it so that nearby enemies take uh, damage from you, just around those spikes. But also within them, as far as I know. And, you know, I'm so far behind, I'm just going to go for this. That was good. Chance to do double damage, like it says. That's quite good. Well, screw it. They will stand no chance. Monster Tooth, that's a huge find. That is so lucky. What that'll do is every time I kill an enemy, I'll get 10 health and healing, which is very big because a lot of the time you're going to be killing a lot of enemies, especially when you have something like the Jar of Souls. So hopefully I get the Frozen Tundra, because given that, I will have a very nice time with uh, the Jar of Souls, as there's a very cheesy location that I can stand, and then just Jar of Souls my way to happiness. But of course, that's not until level 3, and I still have to make it to level 3. Which at seven and a half minutes, going into the damp caverns, that's a bit iffy. So, we'll see how it goes. Not the most confident, but I'm not the least confident. Thank you, Spitter. for spitting. By the way, the dashing attack that goes through the enemies is really not so much for damage dealing most of the time, as it is to just kind of stop them from doing things and uh, get an opportunity to do another attack. And you, you can split it up. You can do one dash, then do a spinning attack, do another dash, etc. And just really keep your um, stun going. Alright, so I'm building up this crowd quite actively, honestly. So that about then, good things can happen. Alright, that nice double damage. Let's run away a little more now. All right. See? 
Look, easy peasy. And then I just stage my escape. So with all the stuff here, summon some more ghosts. Okay, we've got our first vanguard. Vanguard can be tough. Boxing glove? That's kind of terrible as a melee character, honestly. Chance to knock enemies back a lot. Not honestly fond of it. I'll end up picking it up. Just because it's kind of there. But it sucks that it showed up. As you can see, I'm actually doing a rather effective job dealing with everything, just because of the way this character works. Okay, another barbed wire. I do have an arms race, so I will be picking up drones. Arms race, of course, attaches missiles to our drones, missiles and mortars, that they can randomly fire to do lots and lots of damage. As you can see, they're firing a lot. Ow. Alright, well, I'm gonna at least explore over here. If not loop all the way. You are a troll game, I hate you. Alright, the smart thing to do for this is to go over here first. Alright, don't get to grab, that's fine. Just wanted to get this. Smart Shopper, however, is fantastic. Thank you, game. And of course, uh, what Smart Shopper will do is increase the amount of money that enemies drop for us. You know, that's actually quite useful. And I'm happy to actually get it. Boxing gloves. I mean, they're not horrible. They're just not good. And I would say they're more not really very desirable than they are desirable. Alright, let's go. I just had to save time there. I saved a lot of time by not looping around looking for stuff. So we get the sunken tombs, which sadly are not uh, is not the frozen tundra. I can still do quite a lot of um, enemy spawning for use with uh, the jar, if I'm lucky. Sucks that we got a missile spawner right there. But I killed Akrid because he's worth quite a lot of cash. Alright. And immediately buys me this chest. Filial drops buffs every so often. Those are an attack speed buff, a movement speed buff, and a healing buff. And those last a couple seconds. Oh, I'm glad I checked the last one. So this is perfect for um, what I said about spawning stuff with uh, the jar. <clears throat> okay, I want to hang out down here, everyone. If we could just hang out down here, life would be fantastic. There was a blight that spawned, but he seems to have gotten stuck up top. Which means I'm worried about him despawning. Because that's the type of thing he would do. Oh no, there he is. Lucky us. Goodbye, drone. Rip. Ow. 
Alright, I am scared of this blight. Blights do scary large amounts of damage. But if there's one thing that I do well as the mercenary, and that's not me, that's the mercenary himself. I have invincibility all over the place and uh, can deal damage through it. And then get out. Alright, it's almost time to summon the ghosts again. Which is really useful. Okay, so I need to lead them all through that. And that'll do like boatloads of boatloads of damage. Monster Tooth, please. Alright, Tentacle. Has a little imp buddy that wants to uh, help me attack stuff. And it sometimes gets uh, elite spawns where it does more damage for whatever reason or causes enemies to drop money. Okay, as much as I wish I could take that, I really can't. Oh, this is beautiful. I'm gonna buy the drone back. I have so much money on this level. And it's a nice DPS increase. So, this level went insanely well, which is pretty cool. Nice, dude, and you are the best. I'll get the stuff up there eventually. But I am going to kill these now. See, that's what I don't like about um, the tentacle, basically. It's great, except that eventually it will just break. And then it'll be useless for the rest of the run. So it's like, I don't want to get it because it's eventually going to break. So even though it's fantastic, it's not useful. That's another filial. Mysterious Vial just means we regenerate health faster. Double filial just means twice as many periodic buffs. All right. We do get to get like all of the loot. Head stompers, thank goodness. All right, I assume there's nothing else down there. Yep, that is true. Good stuff. So normally I want to be out of the third level at 22 minutes, so I'm going to be in good shape here. I don't think that's going to be a problem at all. That lid is making me backtrack for that uh, roulette kajigger. But that's the last thing on the level, so it's not really a big deal. Okay, I got head stompers again. That's fine. So I don't know, that level didn't give me as much as I wanted it to, but it was good and it was fast. So, we're officially ahead of schedule, which is good. There was less loot than I wanted there to be, and there usually is. But, just, Give me not the cremator. You give me the cremator, I'm dead. And I really appreciate not being dead. Not being dead is like my pastime is a fantastic hobby and I would like to continue being able to do that as a hobby. All right, drones just doing fantastic work. And I will gladly pick up more 
given that opportunity. Now, another thing, if it gives me a cremator, it just spawn it up here. That's so much better. It even gave me the Toxic Beast. What a nice game. Oh, we hit our 20 minute Vanguard. Drone's not gonna last long, probably. I don't think the drone has invincibility when we do necessarily. Let's get those all summoned. Alright. ATG missile again. My damage output is being really nice. Oh man, the backup is so good. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna swap. Because it does damage through crowds. Just as its nice hobby. What I what I don't like right now is these guys. They are gonna kill me. They're gonna kill me. Man. It was about to charge too. If I had just a little bit more in me. A little bit more health, I would have been able to survive, use that, it would have killed all of them instantly. So, that's pretty sad, because that item is so good, and I had, interesting, very interesting, I had the, I had arms race, I was going to be in such good shape. Alright, so, the brooch, summons a chest, costs a lot to open because it's affected by the difficulty uh, scaling for its price, but it gives you a really, I don't know, portable increase in items, basically. See, that one costs 50. It costs, might, maybe it's twice the uh, current small chest price for your difficulty. That might be what it is. Because it only gives you a small chest, so it's not actually even, like, amazing, it's just an extra item. That if it happens to be convenient, you might be picking up. Ukulele. Alright, that's a chance to shoot some electricity with my hit attacks. That will just do some area of effect, basically. So we're looking for the teleporter. All right. Be down here. Be there. Be there. Yes. I lost hope for a second. Losing hope is not strats. And we get a vagrant. Nice. Not a magma worm. Not my friends, dudes. Alright. Okay, I'm handling the crowd. That's most of my goal right now. Oh my. Plasma Chain, chance to tether myself to an enemy that just uh, connects us with a line that does a boatload of damage to, well, not really a boatload, but it does damage to the stuff between us 
and it's useful. It's just good to have that kind of thing. Alright, I'm going to go for that 50 that I spawned. You know what? That's not a good investment of my time. What I should do is go for whatever's up top. Because there's likely to be more of it that costs less. Alright. Much rather have the Explorer's Key. Opens up all chests on screen. Unstable watch doesn't really help me as much. I, I mean, it's good, but it's not what I'm after. All right, so there are two 25s here. Mortar, chance to launch a mortar, like it says. That'll just do an arc shot. Does decent damage. Man, stop giving me use items. I don't need use items. I need a lot of other things. But that attack speed up. I should have taken the health regeneration. But 15% attack speed? Hard to say no to. So, here I am. Taking the risky stuff. I thought they despawned. I was disappointed. Alright, so we're about to have the explorer's key for use. Nice! If I land a crit, then my attack speed increases, and it can do so up to three times. Might also be a base crit, ch crit chance increase. I like how that can crit. Alright. Six enemies remain. We're still well behind schedule. Just excuse me a moment. Much better. All right. Last five enemies should be over here, though, and then I can buy my random, which I waited on just because of efficiency. I'd have to go up there to kill the stuff, and that's the time to buy stuff. Bitter root. All right, 8% health up. Nice. Sky Meadow, okay. Guess I expect the teleporter to be up top right now, but oh wow, okay. Really easy teleporter, that's perfect. Alright, we've got a wisp. I would like to deal with the wisp then. I would love to find any chests to open on this level at all. But honestly, I don't expect that to happen. So I'll just be killing this wisp as much as I can until circumstance forces me to leave. So. Let's see when circumstance starts hating me. All right, toxic centipede. Quite good. I wish I had a crowd control, like, use item. I really do. Alright. Let's pick up the health regeneration. The toxic centipede lets me poison enemies. Yeah, 
this is why I want a crowd control item. Because this is a mess. Now I run away, because I'm almost dead. Like I said, crowd control item. Golden gun increases my damage based on how much money I have. Alright. One child does not pose much of a problem, but a hundred does. Words to live by. Alright, we're gonna run around over here for a little while before worrying about things, and hopefully anything that we have to buy is just a chest. Or like two chests that are on the same screen, so that I can just use my item and then be in good shape. Okay, so as much as I could just use it for this this one, I can afford this one, and this isn't a larger chest. So I'm I'm just gonna take that chance this time. So Let's see what we've got. Gotta hold on to what we've got. Not confident there's going to be another chest here, though. Boom. Oh, man, the boom right now. Infusion gives one health up for every uh, enemy we kill. Which really drastically improves our survivability, perhaps. If we're not unlucky. Oh, that's going to be really annoying. Alright, there's our 10 minute buddy that wants to hang out and kill me. Didn't realize I could even take that much damage. Guess we're chilling. I don't have a fungus this time. Wish I did. At least I have the, uh, Whatever that thing is called. I don't have a vial, but I have the other Kajigger, man. The other Kajigger. Alright. Routing egg, that's what it is. Increases my healing if I don't get hit for seven seconds. That's useful. Didn't really get anything out of that, sadly. Oh no, that's annoying. Why you gotta be bouncing here? Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right, now I've just got this cluster of awful to deal with. All right, that'll do some damage to a bunch of stuff. This is one way to do it while I heal. While I'm healing, this is a really good strat. Because just, like, venturing in there is very deadly. Don't have a monster tooth, which would be really, really helpful. And now we... Now we in there. Now we not want to be in there anymore. See, sadly, as mercenary as I am, I'm not in good shape, and oh, there's a freaking green elite here. That is really sucky.
Now they all want to hang out. Alright, see, we've dealt with a lot of stuff now. There we go, got a war banner, so on level up that increases your healing, attack speed, and movement speed within the bubble. Pretty nice, actually. Ow. Alright, we did it. We did it. Sort of. Still this jerk left, but we're good. So away we go. Frozen Tundra. Usually there's a lot of loot here, so... If I can get enough of it on one screen... Then I'm gonna really have a good time. A really fantastic time. We've got the full bridge, so Boar Beach is an option, but uh, I'm not too confident in my Boar Beach abilities right now. Alright, so we've got a drone over here, but I don't have uh, that item. I don't have Arms Race. Alright, just trying to spread my boatload of damage. And at the moment, earn some money. Alright, trying to also not die as I continue doing what I'm doing. Alright, since this jerk decided it was time to teleport on in, I'm out of here. I did some good money earning while I was there, though. Alright, I will play that once. I'm here and I have my key. Alright, if I can finish this fight off... I would be really, really pleased with my life. But this is kind of exactly the problem that I was worried about. Too many of these jerks spawning and me having to leave. <sighs> Wish I had a bustling fungus, I really do. Crowbar is fantastic. Extra damage to enemies at a certain health threshold. Pretty worried though. Very worried. Alright. I'm trying to get like at least two chests on the screen at once before using my key. Ouch, dudes. Ouch. Dude, they're catching me. Ow, I'm dead. So very dead. Ah, that's not the item I needed. Nor is that. These are two items that I really don't need. Sadly, I don't have a uh, Jar of Souls, though. This doesn't help me very much. Oops. This is where I'd hang out if I wanted to spawn a million enemies. All in the same place. They'd all spawn up here. And I would use Jar of Souls and then my life would be like the best thing. Sadly, that's not too likely to go well for me. That's just likely to lead to my death. So are Bighorn Bison, though. Bighorn Bison, they suck. Dang. 
We're going to give it another go. And then that's probably going to be the last one. I went on Monsoon with Mercenary when I was way worse at the game than I am now. So I should be able to do it now. But the game's hard. You know? That's kind of the big thing about it. It's a very hard game. Alright. Activate this right away. Sounds good to me. I'm one dollar short. Alright. Why you attack nothing, you novice? Alright, let's get the healing from this. So these do increase the attack speed of the multi-attack things, so you'll get through those attacks faster. Which sort of decreases your um, invincibility, but it increases your damage output overall. So it's still worth it, it's just, uh, you know, it's not as linearly perfect, it's a trade. Had 50 damage in one attack. So we get a ukulele again. Let's see what we get from this 50. Ho 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 ho, okay. So the hyper threader makes it so that when we hit with an attack, we fire a laser that does 40% damage. Or we do 40% more damage and fire a laser or something like that. Either way, it's fantastic. It gives us more damage output. Laser does 40% damage. There it is. That lucky hyper threader just, uh, you know, clutched us some sweet damage. Really awesome that we managed to get one. Don't see it too often. Charge field is, like, amazing. As we kill enemies, uh, our damage will increase. Uh, no, not our damage will. What am I talking about? Alright, I need money. Not sure how I'm going to get that. Alright, I'm going to give up on the money. Okay, we're going to be ahead of schedule this time. Anyway, uh, when we kill an enemy, we get this charge field. It goes around us. It does damage uh, that's somehow tied to our damage, and it's good. And it gets bigger as you kill enemies. It lasts six seconds unless you kill an enemy within then that time resets. Lost Doll is take 25% of your health and damage in order to do five times your health in damage to uh, one enemy. $69. So, I don't really like the item very much, but I'll try to use it sometime. 1,500 damage right now. 1,510. Got another Magma Worm. Well, Charge Field really wrecks Magma Worms, once it, like if it's active. Something died in there. Okay, I'm, I'm a little owie right now. Just a little bit owie. Ooh, that hurt. Alright, well, I said one more. One more it shall be. So that'll do it for today. Oh, I just got to 69 too. Could have gotten that chest almost. Unlucky with the magma worm killing me there. But really, it was my fault. 
Could have definitely avoided that by not being greedy with my damage output, which I was, because I was like, I could kill some of these, get some good charge field going, get a lot of damage out, and survive because of it, but didn't work out. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Feel free to leave challenge, challenge suggestions, uh, and if I like any of them enough, they compel me, I will do them. But thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.